Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, May 3rd. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day today. Not as nice as yesterday. Yesterday we were in the 70s with sunny skies. Today it's going to be a bit cloudy and we've already had some rain overnight, so everything's kind of wet. But still, it's pretty. It's, uh, it's, it's about 72 degrees right now. I'm happy. <laughs> it's spring. It's, it's good. So I hope everybody's doing well this week and this weekend. I uh, had a pretty long week last week, to be honest. I was very, very busy with work, with real work, and uh, <clears throat> it was nice to nice to take some time off this weekend. And I have I have a bunch of stuff planned that I was supposed to have done by now that I haven't, which is okay. I'll get to it. A lot of yard work, putting in some new beds, uh, getting ready for planting. We're going to plant next week, um, next weekend. Got a lot of seeds that are starting and we're doing pretty good um, normally I start the seeds too late in the in the season I think this year I start a little bit too early but I've got cucumbers beans and uh, banana peppers going crazy tomatoes ain't so good and then I've got a collection of my my, my wife wanted to plant a uh, butterfly garden so I've got a collection of flowers for that, some of which are doing great, some of which are not, not doing great. Um, and then I've got my burley, uh, which eh, most of what sprouted in uh, this sort of large container that I, that I made for it have died. Um, there's one that's really kind of clinging and another one, no actually just one, there's one that's kind of clinging. But I also just sprinkled some seeds on top of one of these coconut husk pods that uh, you start seeds on. Uh, if you're not familiar with those, I'll show you one. <clears throat> so these little things, these are made of compressed coconut husk that's ground up. And when you put them in water, they expand, um, get about that big and about that wide. And you can, you can actually take this covering off and uh, mush them into a whatever pot you want and they make a really good seed starter you know they drain well they hold moisture well enough to you know keep the seed happy and they're soft enough for roots to move around in and all that so it's, it's a really nice uh, way to get your seed started so when I sprinkled the burly seed just sprinkled them on top of that uh, they're going great I probably have about 20 Plants. So the problem is when they get to be about an inch high, I'm supposed to clip them off <laughs> until I just have them an inch apart or else it's going to be hard to plant them. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I may or may not have burly this year, or if I do, I might just have one one stalk. We'll, we'll see. It'll be fun regardless. So that's the big uh, effort right now is to get the garden and the garden beds ready. Uh, especially for this butterfly garden because that's a new addition and we want to expand our vegetables a bit but I can I can build those four by eight raised beds in a day it's just a matter of having the, the supplies to do it so I got to see if I can get uh, one of the home centers to either pack me up an order that I can pick up or they'll deliver uh, I don't know because a lot of our garden center stuff is still shut down here in Pennsylvania Anyway, we'll get it sorted out. Um, other than that, I'm thinking about starting to think about fishing. Um, it's apparently legal. I don't know if it was always legal. I, I might have gotten misled early on, but I, I haven't been trout fishing yet this season. Um, I'd really love to. I'm, I'm not going to do any overnight trips right now, but I'd love to do a couple of day trips and get some stream time in. And uh, maybe I'll take you along for one of those. I don't know if I can... I've got a chest mount for the GoPro. I don't know how good that would look. Uh, if you'd actually be able to see anything or if it would just be shaky shots of uh, water. But yeah, I might consider doing that. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. It, it would be, it'll be fun for me at least. And if I can get a video out of it and you guys can enjoy some of what I get to enjoy, that'd be great.
So in terms of upcoming events, um, unfortunately there's some uncertainty in the schedule for the next live stream. Um, the guest that I'm hoping we've booked has not gotten in touch with me. I'm sure that he's just busy and uh, you know has other other priorities and he will eventually. So if we can't have him uh, this coming Friday, then I will do a solo live stream um, and we'll book him for some time in the future. Uh, so sorry I can't give you more details than that, but you'll know when the notification comes out, probably Wednesday, Thursday, sometime around, either Wednesday night or Thursday morning. You'll, you'll know what's going to be happening on Friday. And Monday, the tomorrow morning, there will be the final episode in the Restumbling a Bamboo Shank uh, series. That's a series that I know a lot of you thought was rather silly. Uh, and uh, I, I won't call it silly because I, I think there's a nice pipe at the end of it. And uh, Father Anthony, the guy who I was doing the work for, agreed that it, there, there was a nice pipe at the end of it. But uh, it certainly was... Um, not your usual pipe restoration uh, technique, so. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun, and I hope hope you see it that way. Now, if you watch that video, and I'm going to put a little disclaimer at the front, please make sure you watch the whole thing. Watch to the end because there's a surprise at the end, and it's important. And there'll be a follow-up video on Wednesday to talk a little bit about that surprise, and I'll leave all of that out there as a mystery for you. So shop news, um, working on pipes. That's that's really the bottom line. I've got, a, got two pipes lined up for videos. One is about half done and then the next one is going to be interesting. The, the, the one I'm working on right now is probably just going to be a single video but it's an interesting process. And then the next one is probably going to be a series of three or four videos because uh, it's a bit more involved what has to be done on that pipe. So, And then I've got countless, uh, I shouldn't say countless, I can't count them, but I've got four or five stem repair jobs and things like that that are, that are going on as well. So we're, we're getting there. And like I keep telling people, I apologize that I'm slow, but I'm extremely careful and I you know try to do the best work possible. So And my customers seem to appreciate that. But I am slow, and part of the reason I am slow is that I do work all day uh, at a real job, and I find that I get tired sometimes, and I don't want to work on pipes when I'm tired, because I don't want to mess them up. And sometimes I need to take a break. You know, especially with all that's going on right now, like, you know, one of the best ways to destroy your immune system is to not get proper rest and to be stressed and all that, and I... You know, I've been down that road before. I'm not going down it again. Not not now. So, like today, I'm probably not going to do any work on pipes at all. Doesn't mean I'm going to be idle. I've got all the yard work I was talking about, and I'm going to be working on this guy, which I got probably about a month ago now, but just have not had a chance to even open the box. What this is, in very simple terms, is something that will let me use the camera that I'm using right now, which is a Canon, um, I always forget what the heck it is, it's a Canon, Vixia. Um, so it will let me use the Canon Vixia and take the video from that and go directly into my computer, uh, the laptop computer. And what that allows me to do then is I can combine in other video streams. So for example, I could have another camera over there, which I'm not going to do, but I could and have that come into the computer and then I could have those as side-by-side -side images during a live video or what I'm more interested in is I could bring in somebody calling on Skype into a side-by-side -side video uh, so that during a live stream chat with somebody that's on Skype and would like to be uh, seen during the chat uh, we can do that and that'll be very nice. Now that's simple terms and this is plug and play for the most part but I, I, I use Linux and Linux has some driver issues that I gotta work through. It's not difficult, it's just gonna take some time. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get some time today to to play with that a bit and uh, I'd really like to to be able to use it. There's other benefits to going that way like I can have a little 
So right now when I start a live stream, it's, it's a little goofy. You know, I start it up and I sit there waiting for the image to show up on my computer and then I assume that it's running and then I'll say, hello, can anybody hear me? And, you know, wait for somebody to say yes. Well, it turns out when I go back and watch it, there's like this 30 seconds of me sitting there looking around doing nothing and then I say hello and then somebody says, so clearly it's starting before that. Anyway, what I can do with this is I can have something playing, even if it's just a still image. So that when it's time for me to start talking, I can just throw a switch in the program and I can start talking. I don't have to worry that you may not know that, uh, that you know, it may not be working yet. It'll give me like a time buffer there. Also, it can give you guys something to do while you're waiting for me to show up. So, you know, maybe I can work out some kind of like a, like they do in the movies, like a trivia thing or something. That'd be fun. Anyway, I hope, uh... I haven't bored you too much with this because I did not have a... Oh, you know, I never told you what I'm smoking. <laughs> I've got... Uh, this is uh, my Lane Limited uh, Crown Achievement Edition pipe. And I am smoking Bradyville, which I'm going to talk about next week. So let me know if you're smoking along. Uh, I'm down to not a whole heck of a lot of Bradyville left. Uh, I've been trying to do one bowl a day, sometimes two. And gotten to the point where I can pretty much smoke this without thinking about it, so that's good. Um, I think I understand it pretty good. I'm not going to talk about it now because that's, that's next week's topic. I will say that I didn't have to throw it away for after the first bowl, so that, that's information, I guess. Uh, more than halfway through the, the sample that I got, so... We will talk about that next week. Well, folks, I, I hope you're all well and healthy and your families are well and healthy. And life is as good as it can be for you these days. And uh, I know it's getting better. You know, it's slowly, slowly getting better. So we'll just keep hoping for that and praying for one another and taking care of one another. And we'll get there. So with that, folks, I'm going to say goodbye. You all have a great week, and until we meet again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.